guys welcome to my youtube channel that i rarely go on thank you for being here um yeah i haven't been really consistent just because i've been inspired but i'm kind of in the season of just creating whenever whatever i want on whatever i want there's just so many outlets and platforms that i'm trying to jungle jungle that i'm trying to juggle and you know i am definitely not a youtuber but i do enjoy creating creating videos compiling things collecting things documenting things uh, one of my biggest intentions and goals is to create every week to upload something every week or every other week if i can but not so much strictly on one thing um because i've tried that and it's just not really sustainable for me it's not fun um, I like moving around and just letting my mind go free and so that's what we're practicing but basically this video is just going to be a quick video of a tour around my studio space that I recently just um, put together so a lot of firsts happening in my life which I'm super grateful for it is a little nerve-wracking knowing that change is happening but change is inevitable and um it's all about how proactive we are and how we can um figure out solutions to work with it and to enjoy the process and just be open-minded but don't want to have this intro be too long because it's not a podcast if you do want to listen to podcasts go check out positive and ponder on all podcast platforms but in the meantime, enjoy whatever I put together. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I love how I do have a tripod, but I'm just too lazy to <laughs> get it and set it up. All right, so the first thing we're doing right now is, this is something I do probably like once to twice a month, no more than that. Um, is I put a hair mask and I use just virgin coconut oil, um, especially just focusing on my ends because she dry and we have bleached hair. So um, I naturally have like pretty oily hair. So I just really focus on the ends and don't necessarily need a shower today. So we'll just wash it out tomorrow and just leave it for the rest. Alright guys, it's been a few hours actually, I got sidetracked. My face is feeling revived and refreshed and I also did my eyebrows because they were not tamed. Did my nails, not looking the greatest, um, but it's okay, I only wanted it to look somewhat presentable. I don't spend money on my nails professionally because they're just bound to get ruined um, just within a day. I work with kids and paint so... No point, but it was a nice mindfulness practice. I didn't watch anything while I was doing my nails because, I don't know, I feel like I've just been so overstimulated and always feel the need to like have something in the background, which there's definitely nothing wrong with that, but um, I think it's also important to just have moments of silence with yourself. But anyways, enough of talking. Ugh, I talk so much. Um, here is a tour of my little humble studio. Hey guys, this is editing Pauline. It's my first time using this voiceover, so please bear with me as I'm trying to do one take. But as soon as you walk in, you are welcomed with this big window, pretty much the entire wall, um, and which 
natural light is just so important to me. I need it to stay grounded and to feel alive. Um, so I really enjoy that. And then here's a snake plant that I've been able to maintain. It's the easiest plant to maintain. Here is my podcast setup, which is so important because I used to not have a setup and would have to restart and just not be motivated. So glad that we have a designated place for that. Um, and then here's basically my desk setup. Um, still trying to find a more cuter way to display everything, but we're working with what we have. A lot of this stuff was free. This mechanical keyboard was super cute and was also given to me. Um, and just some of my daily kind of supplies that I need. And then an easel with some of my art pieces. This shelf basically has everything that I need right now um it's not that cute right now <laughs> i'm still trying to figure out how to store everything more nicely but basically this has all my packaging my cricket machine um and down here i actually have my products and of course eventually i'm going to find a more secure and safe place for them so they're not exposed like this um but yeah we're figuring it out we're figuring it out here is my Cricut machine that I got on Facebook Market. I have a complicated relationship with my Cricuts. Yeah, we're we're working it out. Um, here's another calendar. I can never get enough of calendars. I need to remember things visually, so I have a lot of those. Here is a digital painting of me from my friend, made by my friend. Um, please trust me when I say I'm not self-centered. I just happen to have a lot of portraits of me. <laughs> um, and here are a bunch of unfinished books and unfinished journals and sketchbooks. And maybe you can get a gist of who I am through those book titles. Um, my art supplies. Again, this is realistic. I would love to have brand new stuff, but we're not there yet. And here's a cute tote bag of one of my first Positive and Ponder covers um, that my friend gave me. And yes, so over here is my wall, which I've created to also be the new backdrop. Um, that's what you'll see in most of my videos. And it has some maps um, that I got at a bookstore of places that I eventually want to go to. Of course, there's many more places, but... Um, I can only fit so much on this wall. And here are a bunch of Polaroids. Oops, I gotta fix that. And, uh, yeah. This will basically tell you who I am as a person. I love people. <laughs> I love traveling. Love arts. And that's pretty much it. That concludes this tour. <laughs> Looking very much like an egg right now, but whatever. Um, I'm also learning that this is not a vlog camera, so... Before my arm gives out, I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone who watched and hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of my little studio. Again, I'm super grateful and I just know that my younger self is so excited and so happy and so proud. So um, I'm more so in excited for sharing this space with my friends too. Those who have been, been supporting me creatively, um, this is for them too. I just can't wait to have those intimate podcast sessions in here and just start conversations, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of what this space is is a great representation of me and who I am personally. And um, I'm privileged and grateful to be able to share it with you guys and um, super grateful for what's to come. Um, I know I'm jumping from platform to platform. Um, but I am definitely in, again, I'm definitely just trying to be in the headspace of just creating every day, every week, post it or not. Um, and this is definitely the place where it will all happen. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out Pop, Sip, and Ponder on all podcast platforms. Also got my sticker shop open if you want to check that out. And stay tuned for my fall series. I got some fall stickers coming up as well. Please, if you guys have your own setup, something that works with you, something that is personal, your own office space, something that keeps you um, inspired, I'd love to 
um, connect and kind of see what you guys are doing too. Maybe it'll give me some ideas. Please, I need tips on what to do with this space because it's definitely not finished. All right, I'll see you. Have a great day, night, wherever you are. Just don't forget to always love, to always be curious, and to always ponder.